Coming up on Rhapsody Soundcheck, Pearl Jam talks about their new album, and Los Lonely Boys discuss their unique style of music. So turn up those headphones. This is Rhapsody Soundcheck. I can see the feet of Welcome to Rhapsody Soundcheck. I'm Leanne Locken. Pearl Jam first hit the music scene back in the early 90s as a pioneer grunge band from Seattle. The band has recently released its eighth studio album. And just to keep things simple, it's called Pearl Jam. I think everybody's more involved with this record. Everyone's open to the collaborative process. A lot of this situation here and stuff is about like uh, band communication, you know? And um, we're getting pretty good at it. Fifteen years ago, we were pretty rough and raw in terms of how we approached one another. And I think sometimes we probably stepped on one another occasionally, trying to get our idea across. I think all of us in the band have had different struggles with each other. It seems like the easiest job in the world, and in some ways it could be. But I think we, we put it on ourselves to make it hard. It wasn't always pleasant. But I, I think that positive things came out of it. You know? The fact that we can kind of take some time off and then come back and we get back together and it's exciting. It's like coming home again. Los Lonely Boys is a band made up of three brothers from a small West Texas town. Henry, Jojo, and Ringo Garza were practically born into music, and it seems they were destined to make an impact with their unique style of music. My earliest musical memory, I mean, of course, is our father playing. Watching our dad, even when we were growing up at two and three years old, he would sing and, and play songs for us all the time. He would sit there just with his guitar and, and in the sit us room. down in the living room. And he would play. He'd just sing for us. And we did, yeah. Everybody's always going around calling music, okay, hey, this is blues, this is pop, this is country, this is classical. And we believe music is music. And we believe music should not be categorized. If we should categorize our music, we, we decide to call it our own. Mexican rock and roll is a blend of music that we grew up listening to and our dad taught us. Music has been in our blood since we were born. We would sit in our rooms and jam. We would just jam all day. Our music, we live it. The songs really from this album are always come from our hearts. But the real ride that we've been on with, with the success of really pushing our talents to the metal and, and going all over the place, it brought a lot of pain and a lot of hurt and a lot of confusion that we we put into song. You know, it's it, kind of a haunting album almost. It's not darkness, it's reality. You know, it's life. There's songs about us missing our family, there's songs about us feeling the pain from all of the rest of the world, people dying in, in tsunamis and, and you know in wars. We feel it, feel the tension on our souls or spirits and we and we, we just start to write about it.
get the latest music from Pearl Jam, Los Lonely Boys, and literally thousands of other artists covering all music genres. All you have to do is go to Rhapsody.com. It's the number one rated online digital music service. Rhapsody gives you unlimited access to vast music library of over a million tracks, unlimited custom digital radio, and the power to burn your custom mixes to CD. You can even fill and refill your portable devices. Plus, you can share your own custom playlist, check out artist pictures and videos, and access your subscription from the web. Signing up today is easy by going to Rhapsody.com. You can also see the Rhapsody ad in the Hemispheres magazine. Now, let's take a look at the top 10 artists featured on Rhapsody.com. Well, that's all the time we have now. Be sure to check us out next month as we bring you more great artists for your listening pleasure. I'm Leanne Locken. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.